So today, we will be making you guys a candle holder. And right now, we are going to be making our first cut for it with miter saw out of this wood. As you can see here, we've already made a measurement for 10 inches, and that's going to be where our base is. All right, so I'm going to make our first cut, and just make sure that it's all lined up. Make sure you're always checking what you're doing. Make the la if the laser is there, make sure that's lined up too. And make sure you're always wearing your uh, safety goggles and your hands is four inches away. All right. All right, there you go. Today, we're making a cut with the table saw. We're just cutting the edges off of this piece of wood. Uh, before you start the cuts, you want to check if the blade's uh, just barely over the wood. Make sure you're wearing your eye protection. And when you're making the cuts, you want to use your foot sticks because it's too close. Your hands are too close to the blade. And yeah. Down the. Also, don't forget to put down the blade guard before you start. Back, you should probably back it up. You should back up the wood first. Alright, now you're good. Oh wait, where's that magnetic? What? Yeah. Magnetic. The feather board? Yeah. right here to the corners to make it look a lot neater. So what we're doing on this saw is we have set the board at a 45 degree angle and now what we're going to do is we'll line our wood up with the cut line. Make sure the corners look all good and line up. Make sure all you meet all your safety requirements and then you're good to make the cut. one of these cuts. cuts. Alright, so right now we're going to make the legs for the candle holder. Uh, right here we have uh, made a measurement of what, how big our legs are and how big we want them to be. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the cuts with this saw. Just got to line it up, make sure it's alright. 
and forge to lay and then make sure you're all this good. And there's your leg. Now we're going to be making the holes for the candle holder on the drill press. Press, we are using uh, a four square bit here with a one and a half inch diameter to make these three holes that we've already marked. Here we go. That's how you make one of the holes for the candle holder. Alright, here's your legs. All we gotta do now is glue it. Alright, now we have a finished candle holder. We've glued it in our legs, and all we have to do is let it dry overnight, and you're finished. Thanks for watching.